Yo, 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 what's up, what's happening, what's going on, it's your boy Chain Wayne, welcome to the blog, y'all already know what to do, like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can be notified when I drop these videos, uh, I want to talk about straight drop today, bro, um, before I get started, I gotta, I gotta say it, rest in peace to Young Dolph, shout out to the GOAT, but everybody know what's going on about this whole straight drop situation, um, how he's locked up for, you know, being one of the last shooters in a, in a uh, Dolph murder. But it's some rumors that's going around right now. Like, I can't say if it's true or not. I can't say if it's not true. But we're going to get into it. So, basically, it's a narrative that's going around that people was pushing that straight drop got beat up in prison. Beat up in jail, whatever you want to call it. Now, of course, everybody going to say it got something to do with Dolph. I mean... You got to think about it. You know what I'm saying? You in jail. You in, you in population. You don't know who you going to see. You don't know if somebody even told somebody. whoop de whoop de whoop what. So basically, what happened was uh, one of the artists by uh, the name of Snoopy Bands, um, he came out on the internet and basically he did a live video and was like laughing, you know, saying some disrespectful things, talking talking bad about, you know, uh, straight dropping. Basically, he was just like, yeah, like one of my little homies, like beat him up. Like, and if my little homie see him again, he going to beat him up again. Now, like I said, I don't know if this is true or not. I can't really say, but it's a lot of people, they cracking jokes and people saying it is true. Some people saying it's not true. So then straight drop, whatever account that he got, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what kind of phone he got in there. I don't even know if he, it, it was him that made the post because people try to say it might have been a fake page. But he, he goes on to Instagram, right? And makes a post basically saying that, like, if y'all know me, y'all know I'm a gangster. I'm whoop de whoop de whoop. I ain't nobody do nothing. You sum it all up, and he says, go get a refund. So basically, how I'm looking at it, go get a refund, like, your mans ain't do nothing. You need to go get your money back. But people can say what they want to say. Like, you get what I'm saying? I wasn't there. You wasn't there. But he basically coming out saying it ain't nobody do nothing to me. Like, I ain't get beat up or nothing. So... I can't say if it's true. I can't say if, it, if it's not. But at the end of the day, after this situation, this is you're going to be faced with this because Dolph was a fan favorite. And now people really don't like you after the situation. So you always got to keep your head on the spoke. You always got to be on point. Um, you can't beat everybody. But at the end of the day, this is a situation that you put yourself into. So you got to lay in it. You know what I'm saying? I don't really think the guy going to get out. I mean, he's saying, oh, listen, whatever the case may be. But like I say, I ain't the one doing the trial, whatever the case may be. But it just goes to show you, bro, like every action got a reaction. And if that didn't happen, it possibly could. So you got to be on point. You know what I'm saying? People be thinking they gangsters just because they can pick up a gun. But when you throw to a lot of guys, they don't, even, they don't even like to fight. They don't even know how to fight. So just because you can pick up a gun and take somebody's life out, that don't mean... You can stop four or five people coming at you, and they they they, they try to take you out with, with their hands and feet. So um, that's pretty much all I got about the situation. Um, like I said, it's probably gonna be more to that story, but you know how a lot of people do. They want to prove their point. They either took a picture of their face, but I like I said, I don't know if somebody was, I don't know if somebody using their account. I don't know what kind of phone he got, but hey man, it is what it is. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that this really did happen? Or do y'all think that somebody did try to approach him? Because obviously something happened. Do y'all think that somebody did try to approach him and it didn't go the way that they thought? Um, Y'all let me know what y'all think about that situation. And I'm out.